Go, Lester. Praise the Lord. God is so good. We thank God once again. And we are ordering and we are nearing Christmas. Amen. And this is our uh, Advent season. And we thank God that is for Jesus. I always love that song that says, Jesus in the morning, Jesus in the new day, and then Jesus all day long. The scripture that we're going to embark upon is found in Matthew that is beginning at the 20th chapter. It says, but while he thought on these things, it says, behold, an angel appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thy son David, fear not, to take unto thee Mary, thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. And then, of course, Second Timothy 1 and 7, it says, God has not given us the spirit of fear, but a power and love and that which is of a sound mind. God, we thank you today for your goodness and for your mercy. Thank you, Lord. And although the enemy has come and he's tried to basically make our world look like a burned over field with disease and sickness and decay and viruses and all of that. But what he don't know is that you have what we call keeping, keeping power. Thank you, Lord. You kept some of us. You blessed us. You touched us and anointed us. And we thank you for that. Thank you for sparing our, our families, the elderly. Thank you, God. We thank you that we're here today, not only just to worship you in spirit and in truth, but to go deep in, within the word. We thank you now in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. So Sister Turner is going to come to us at this time with the ministry of music. God lets me live, 
uh, for the new year, I can look back and say, you know what? This has been a year that if it had not been for Jesus, we just wouldn't have known what we would have done. So we thank God for Jesus. Amen. So the church is going to come back with a prayer song. And after that, we're going to be led in prayer. Amen. Father, help us, Lord, now to learn to love you 
as best we can. And we thank you, Father, for your faithfulness. We pray right now that your anointed spirit, your angel, will be upon this, this service, Father. That you would pour your spirit into uh, our pastor as he brings the word, Father. And the other pastors, that they bring the word today, Father. That your anointing will be there, there. And that the message that we go for will touch our hearts and our minds and that will stick with us, Father. Let us not be those that just hear the word and not do it. Let us hear the word and then apply the word and do the word. We thank you in advance for doing it. We thank you for your blessings and, your, and for your victories that you're going to give us. We'll forever give you all the praise, honor, and glory. And we ask this in your magnificent, wonderful, loving son, Jesus' name. Amen. about Joseph and it talks about the fear that he had 
with the announcement, knowing that his wife was with child. I want to use for a subject, uh, don't fear, don't fear to give. When I grew up, Christmas was one of the most important that is dates on the calendar. And during that time, of course, we had a lot of festivity and we had a lot of food, but not a lot of gifts were given. Of course, my parents was not financially strapped as other parents, but still yet we were blessed in return. But as we commem uh, commemorate the birth of Jesus Christ, God gave us a gift. Amen. Now, we didn't understand the gift in the beginning, and Joseph didn't understand the gift either. You understand? But this gift was for the whole world. Amen. For a moment, Joseph feared the gift. But God put the gift in a woman's belly. Amen. Amen. And not only that, but the, uh, the, the, he was conceived, Jesus, of the Holy Ghost, and he was born of a virgin. He walked this virgin for 33 years, and he, was do, he didn't do anything but good. And I'm glad to hear that word good. Amen. Now, I can remember when I was a child, amen, and I was in grade school, we used to do what we call pull names. Y'all know something about that, don't you? Amen. And this was a way of exchanging gifts, exchanging gifts. But every year, there would be somebody who didn't get a gift for some reason. They didn't get a gift. Yeah, amen. Amen. But I'm so glad. I'm so glad that God has given this gift to mankind and given this gift to everybody. I never shall forget a young man told me, he said, I was that person that didn't get a gift one time. And it gave me a complex, a complex about receiving, he said, and giving gifts. That's what he said. So now here it says that Joseph feared that is the gift. And it says because Joseph, uh, Mary's husband, and being a just man and unwilling to put her to shame, amen, and disgrace Mary publicly, amen. So he planned to do what? Break off the engagement, amen. And I kind of believe that that's normal and that would be natural, believe it or not, for us, amen. He feared his culture. He feared what they were going to say, believe it or not. Amen. Oh, how and just, just how could he explain this to his family and his earthly ties and his friend? How do you explain that? Amen. So don't be afraid of the gift. Amen. Because, you know, fear will make you give up and run from the very things that God is going to bless you with. So Joseph was trying to do what? Put away the only redemption, the only salvation, the only a contrition, amen, that was available for mankind not only that day, but today also. And then 2 Timothy 1 7 said that God has not given us the spirit that is of fear, but that of power and love and of a sound mind. Now, now at some point or another, every one of us will experience fear in this world, amen. For one reason or another, amen. And the reason why, amen, the word of God gives so many fear nots, fear nots, and do not fear, amen, is that is that sometimes that has to do with what? A human being having fear on the face of this earth. And there's a lot of people that are living in fear right now. Amen. They just fear. They fear everything. How many of y'all know what I'm talking about? They fear the pandemic, and then they fear uh, 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 the cure of the vaccine of the pandemic. People just live in fear, believe it or not, every day. Amen. As I think about Job in the word of God, amen. And he was very blessed in before and after his sickness, amen. But he didn't mention, uh, uh, excuse me, he didn't mention his fears that he had. Matter of fact, he would come and bring sacrifices constantly that is for his children just in case. Just in case, believe it or not. He was fearful, amen. And if you look at that word just in case, those words, they have a way of bringing about fear. Just in case, you see, I'm not going to give all of my tithes and offering because I have to hold some just in case my car break down, you understand? I'm going to pretend I love him and I'm not going to be truthful just in case. Amen. Now, if you study fear, there are hundreds and hundreds, believe it or not, there are hundreds of fears and phobia, the fear of heights, the fear of elevators, uh, uh, the fear of going someplace and not knowing what to expect. One lady was afraid, believe it or not, of clowns, clown. And fear is a spirit. Amen. And the greatest fear, I believe, is for us is to allow fear to do what? Hold us back for what God 
want us to accomplish. Amen. Amen. And fear can do that. Believe it or not, it can hold you back. Amen. It can hold you back for what God has for you in life. Amen. Amen. And you have to be careful. Who was it? It was Moses that said, I don't speak well. I don't articulate. He says, well. Amen. He said, I just can't get up and talk. Amen. But you got to be careful about that. You see, that can hold you back from being one of the greatest evangelists of all times. Not only that, it can keep you from what? It can keep you from being a pastor and being able to exhort and do those things. It can keep you from being that spiritual tool that God can use to help your brother and your sister. Fear actually can paralyze you. You have to be careful about that. Am I right? In reading this from another translation, it says that God has not given us the spirit, the spirit of timidity, amen, and cowardness and craving and cringing that is of fear. But he's given us the spirit of power and love and, and a calm and a well-balanced and disciplined and self-controlled mind. That's what he has done. Amen. I have problems with self-control. Amen. You see, because I have a fear of doing what? Gaining weight. Then I got to do what? I have to deal with self-control. We have to add to our faith virtue and the virtue of knowledge. And not only that, but you have to add some self-control. Now, now if, 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 I, if I'm fearing, you understand, I'm not going to get the full benefit of doing what God has asked me to do. Amen. And the number one weapon that Satan used, believe it or not, is fear. It's fear. He uses it on us. And it starts and it begins, believe it or not, in the mind. Because all of us, all of us can act out what's going on in our hearts and in our mind. But Joseph, you don't have to fear. Joseph, you don't have to fear. You don't have to fear the gift. Amen. Because why are you thinking about putting Mary away? The angel of the Lord appeared upon you in a dream, and he said to fear not. Fear not, Joseph, thy son of David. Take unto Mary to be thy wife, because that which is conceived of the Holy Ghost is at this time is given unto you. You understand? And the Bible says that she shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Jesus, and he shall save us, believe it or not, from our sin. Amen. But you don't have to fear. Amen. This gift of salvation is free. His grace is free. Amen. Grace don't have nobody's name written on it. Grace is free, believe it or not. This gift, uh, we wrapped the, the, the natural gifts in Christmas paper. But now this gift, gift was wrapped in swaddling clothes and he was laid in a manger, believe it or not. He was in his barn in a mule stable with the stitch that is of a barn yard. This gift was the way, the truth, and the life. And no man cometh to the Father but by him. This gift was wounded for our transgression, bruised for our iniquities, and the chastisement and of our pieces upon him. And with his stripes, we can be healed, believe it or not. This gift, this gift was handed down, amen, through generations and generations that is from God. This gift said, no man takes my life, but guess what? I lay it down, you understand? And I'm glad that I accepted the gift and be able to say that my hope is built on nothing less but Jesus' blood in his righteousness. I dare not touch, touch the sweetest frame, but guess what? I'm going to hold and lean on Jesus' name. How many of y'all know what I'm talking about? We don't have to be afraid of the gift. Amen. All children's of fears are gone because this child is the savior of the world. And I'm glad to announce it. I heard a songwriter, and guess what he said? He said, I found a friend who's all to me. His love is ever true. I love to tell how he lifted me and what his grace can do for you. Saved by his power divine. Saved with new life sublime. Life now is sweet and my joy is complete because I'm saved. I don't have to be afraid of salvation. You don't need to give me scare tactics in order for me to get saved. Beat me in the back till I slob out my mouth. All I have to do is accept the Savior. Accept him because the gift has been given. And you don't have to be afraid of the gift. How many of y'all know what I'm talking about? I'm so glad that if you get saved, you can do what walk in a new and better way. If any man be in Christ, he's a new creation. All things are passed away. And behold, everything is new, whether you believe it or not. 
God. Accept the gift. Accept salvation. When first I started to seek the Lord, I'm glad I counted the cost. I'm so glad that I counted the cost. I'm glad that I accepted Jesus as my personal Savior. I'm so glad to be able to say, you can be saved by grace. You can be saved and kept by the Holy Spirit. I'm so glad that the Holy Ghost leads us and guides us into all truth. You don't have to be afraid. You don't have to be afraid when God is about to drop in your heart before the new year. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for salvation. Don't be afraid of the gift because this is a gift that God himself is given. We thank God this morning and we thank God that we can do what we can be blessed. Amen. We can be blessed with the gift of salvation for the greater that is that is to the grave. And we thank God for Jesus. Amen. We have another song in this time.